what's up, Gamer Skull Mystic? I am here today in the Salt Meadow Swamp of Azteca with me, amigo, the quite rude little monkey Alejandro, the fishing trainer for this area. I am here today because it is time once again to start reintroducing Catch It Fast to my video plans. In today's video, I am going to try to pin down the Tunasaurus Rex, the rare fish here in Salt Meadow Swamp. Why am I gonna do this? Well, cause I got this friend Orchid and I just gotta poke her in the eye. I heard a couple of times, Skill, I can't find this fish, man. Why, why, why? A couple of times. So I'm gonna see if I can catch this fish in 10 minutes or less. I'm gonna try to make this a 10 minute video all together. And then this time, catch the Tunasaurus Rex. So let's go ahead now and get ready and do this thing. Luckily for me, let me pop on my heads up. There we go. Luckily for me, we have a lot more fishing tools in our arsenal than we used to have. Believe it. Thank goodness for small favors. One of those is the Winnow Ice Fish spell. The Tunasaurus Rex happens to be an ice fish. I don't know how you get an ice fish in a swamp, but hey, that's all right. So all we've got to do to make this fast, at least as fast as possible, is winnow out ice and keep running back and forth until we see an ice signature. Now, so far as I know, there aren't any ice trash fish here. But then again, I don't have a lot of experience in salt meadow swamps, so I guess we're both gonna be on a learning experience. Let me see if I can find this <laughs> sunken chest while we're doing this thing. Another part of this fun thing is you gotta dodge these uh, Dodge the we're gonna play dodge the dinos here. Look, they straight covering that bad boy. Oof, straight covering it. So let me go around. I could cheat just a little bit more if I put my mouth on and like zipped over here. But I'm gonna walk it. I'm feeling that confident. Okay, so this pass zero fisho, none. See how you like my Spanish? Zero fisho. <laughs> yeah, okay then. Let me go ahead and reset. That's all, that's all catching this fish requires is having a bunch, a bunch of energy and resetting. You should be able to pick up that ice fish without too much trouble. Let's see, if everything goes away, I'm just gonna cheat and put it on my mount. I really am. Wow, it takes a minute to get that thing to cast, though, too, because it's got to do all the ponds. Luckily, thank goodness for this as well, the Winnow spell works. Okay, this is, how you can, this is how you can shortcut it, by the way. If it charms no fish, then there's no ice fish here. Okay, yeah, so there's no ice fish here. Instead of having to run, that's another shortcut you can use, by the way, guys. If, there, if it charms no fish affected, then there's no, then there's no rare fish here. You don't have to run back and forth. You don't have to do all that. So let me slip that in there. I always, see that's what happens when I don't do a series for a long time. I kind of forget some of the tricks that I picked up along the way. And that's one of them. Especially for, for a fish where there's no other type of that fish in the water. Leave that there. Once it scares them away, do another charm. It does take a minute for that winnow to like actually affect everybody though. Charm. No fish affected. Now just to be certain that they haven't changed the rules on me here. I'm gonna go over here and uh, I'm gonna go over here and check the other pools to make sure we don't happen to have another fish in there. I don't think that we will, but I do want to see. I don't think it's gonna happen that way, though. Okay, we're ba 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 da. Nothing to charm. No fish affected because there's nothing to charm. All clear and good. Let's go back to this end. Pop the same spells again. Thank goodness this isn't one of the areas, as far as the Tunisaurus Rex goes, thank goodness this isn't one of the areas where they have like a bunch of ice trash fish at the same time. Because this wouldn't work and you wouldn't be able to do it near as fast. Now mind you, on the Catch It Fast 
series. It's not conserve energy fast because you will, you will a lot of times straight up burn energy to get the fish that you want like that fast. It just, that's how they designed the game to burn energy because well, you know how it is. You burn energy, you want to buy some more. Okay, one of all those out. Charm again. If no fish are affected, I know it's not here. Nope, it's not here. Keep doing it. Being as Tunisaurus Rex is a rare fish, or a, I'm sorry, an epic fish, I may have to do this 10 times or so, and I may burn energy. So yeah, while catching it fast is the thing. Okay, let me see here. Good job, I went out. Yeah, while, while catching it fast is a thing, catching it cheaply isn't always the case. There's somebody who's fishing right now. Charm. Okay, no fish affected. Go ahead and reset. You may be lucky. This is like the polar bear, uh, the polar bear fish in Grizzleheim. You may be lucky one day and like find it three times in a row, but then not find it 30 times in a row after that. It's just, it's really, the actually having the fish here is, is the hard part. Go ahead and winnow this out. Charm. No fish affected, oof. And that's another. That's one of the drawbacks too, to have such a, a large amount of water in this area. It takes a minute for those, uh, for the both the winnow and the and the uh, reset to take effect. Okay, charm. Nope. See what we got going on here. Okay, our charm spell worked. So, somewhere here is an ice fish. Let's see where he may be. Like I said, luckily with this, uh, I think I said it in an earlier video, luckily with this, the charm spell and the winnow spell and all the fishing spells, thankfully affect all of the pools in an area. So that means so we should be able to, oop, there we go, run up in here. And see our boy sooner or later in one of these pools of water. Make sure I don't accidentally scare him away. That would totally, oof. He's not in here. The worst part is uh, doing the dinosaur dodge there to, uh... okay, here he is. That is going to be our Tunosaurus Rex. What has this been like? 
In just a couple of minutes, really. Being as there is no other ice fish, we should be able to pop this guy, like, right now. As soon as he, like, stops being dodgy. Now, if he is a rare fish, he's going to be dodgy as all get out. Nope! <laughs> Look at him go. Straight dodging me. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get fish dish 101 here. You gotta put that right on his nose too, apparently. Okay, come on, Bob. That was that was good. You're killing me now. Don't make me look like a dunce in front of this in front of my video audience here. I have to put it on his other side. That should attract. There we go. We got him now. And three. Four. Don't make me work for it. If this is a two source, I'm gonna die. Five. Dude, come on now. He doesn't seem like he's very hungry today, does he? There we go. And and the bleep bleep. Is that him? That is him. Tutosaurus Rex. Right there, right now. Slablam, the chicken of the nightmare sea. Oof, no kidding. Imagine catching something like that. When, ooh, I think I might have to, like, uh, either use a really, really strong steel net or uh, cut the line is not out of the question. Oh, my God. Fish. All right, guys, there you have it. Anyway, the Tutosaurus Rex. Oh, you know, let me turn off my mouth. The Tunosaurus Rex. Catch it fast. That's the tricks. That's the tips. That's the way to get him without having to sweat, blood, die, and everything else. Sometimes with these rare fish. I don't think I can get away from that ice thing. There you go. Sometimes you will have to burn some energy to catch these rare fish. They just, they've got it designed that way. They want you to spend energy on this, and you will. But if you're looking for a particular fish, for a particular recipe, or just to fill your tanks, or any of those things, you can get it without wasting your whole day. It is possible. Catch it fast, Tudosaurus Rex. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the heart smash, subscribe, share, yell my name to everybody you know, and make sure to come and see me on Twitch. I stream every night of the world, pretty much. Every once in a while, I'm taking that off. You know how it is, but most every night. I start usually around 5 p.m. on the evenings that I'm free or 6 p.m. whenever my in real life job kind of prohibits me from getting home early enough. So if you come on here by 6 on Twitch, you should, you should see me. I would love to have you there. We do all kinds of fun stuff, playing together, games, prizes, parties, hanging out, and really just enjoying each other's company. I would love to have you there. My crowd would love to have you there. They would definitely make you feel more than welcome. And you'll have a good time. Isn't that what it's all about? So, until next time, this is Skeleton Mystic and Stinky Scooter reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, Gamer Skeleton Mystic? I am here today once more in Azteca in Cloudburst Forest for the newest edition of Catch It Fast in today's video. We are going to be hunting the elusive, rare parrotfish. I have recently 